Our next question comes from user Donald Trump only paid $750 in federal income tax the year he was elected. Wow, what a unique username. Thanks for the question. What does a Joe Biden path to victory look like? Glad you asked. Let's pull up a map. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're gonna go by the 538 poll average and we're gonna categorize Maryland, DC. Now, all of these states highlighted in yellow are within the margin of error. You can get down to it if you look at the states of Pennsylvania and Michigan. That puts them over 270. These three states right here were all ones that went to Trump and gave him the victory in 2016. Of course, Florida, always a swing state. Actually, soybean farmers in Iowa have been very dissatisfied. Polling aggregates that you can use, and you can easily see that state swing in Georgia actually has Biden with a very slim lead. Again, we brought up Texas, how Democrats are only down by 2%. We shouldn't take Arizona for granted. Every vote matters in every single state. Yellow might be the ones that will swing this election. Just remember that we cannot take any state for granted. Look, I live in Maryland and I marked it as safe, right? Here's my ballot, okay? I'm still voting. Please, for the love of God, just, just, just vote. Just just please, all these states still could go red, could go for Donald Trump, and do we want that? I don't think you want that. Do we want the Senate back? Kansas, South Carolina, let's put um, let's put Montana in there as well. Colorado, we have John Hickenlooper running. Every vote matters. Vote early, vote by mail, vote in person. I don't care. Just, just do it. 